everyone. Thank you for joining me again. Today's video is going to be about trash talk. Um, this is going to be a um, empties video and there's a lot of stuff here and none of this is organized so bear with me because I just grabbed my basket and said you know what I'm going to do a quick video today. Yeah that's how my day goes. I just get up and go eh, I'll just do this one today. So let's just get started. Okay I'm going to start with my, try and pull these all out, Bath and Body Works soaps. I think I have like a whole bunch of these in here. Let me try and get them all. Ah, see what happens when you're not organized? This. Okay. There we go. That was crazy. Okay, so I have... So far I found this many. There's four. There is Twisted Peppermint, um, and I really like the gentle foaming hand soap in the winter just because it doesn't dry me out as much, so I use this one. So Twisted Peppermint is one of them. Black Cherry Merlot, this is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite one. Um, Peach Bellini, that's one. And then this one was in my, ba or my kitchen, and it's the Ginger Peach. Ginger Peach one so yeah those are all my hand soaps there's more I think but they're like almost done but not done um I have two two shaving creams this one is the skin intimate skin therapy with vitamin E for sensitive skin I basically just tried to finish this one because I don't like these ones as much these ones I really like are the EOS um, Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream 24 Hour Deep Moisture and this one's in Pomegranate Raspberry. So I really like these ones better just for hydration purposes. Um, I have a face spray, a Caudalie face spray. This is the grape water. Absolutely love this stuff. It's like key to moisturizing your skin, especially in the winter. And then I also have an Avenue. Avenue? I think that's how you say it. Um, thermal spring water. Um, one, a little one. I have a um, Batiste dry shampoo. This is the bouncy, big bouncy volume one. Didn't really like this one. There's still a little bit in it, but I'm throwing it out because it's like I'm done with it. I'm like, I want to move on to something else. So that is there. And then I have a three minute miracle um, Aussie. 3 Minute Miracle Moist Conditioner, Deep Conditioner. If you watch the videos, you know that this is one of my holy grail things that I love. Um, I have a Intuition Razor. Um, these aren't my favorite. I like a different one, but I used it. I have a Facial Cleansing Cloth Exact. Um, facial Cleansing Cloth 3 in 1. Cleanser, Toner, Eye Makeup Remover. And I have a simple exfoliating facial wipes. These ones are my absolute favorite, the simple exfoliating ones. And the simple regular ones are my favorites. But I really love these ones for taking my makeup off at night, especially the exfoliating ones. I have a Pantene Damage Detox um, with Moza Mint Oil in it. Um, and this one smells pretty good. I love this one. So I have that conditioner as well. And I have this AG Moisture Ultra Moist Moisturizing Conditioner. This one was okay. Um, I mixed it in with my other conditioner just to make it like a little bit more hydrating. And it was good. I have a Fizz Ease. Fizz Ease. Original. Six FX Serum eliminates fizz, hydrate protection, heat protection, smooths, hydrates, and tames. This one was great. Um, I bought it last year and I finally like used it up. I really like this one when I got it, um, but I've moved on to other things now that I like more than this. I'm really into the um, spray in after the shower where it's like a 10 in one, but I got one in my um, glossy box that I'm trying to use. So, um, this one, this one's good for the price. I don't think I'd buy it again, but it is a good product. I have a Pure Melt Away Makeup Emulsifier. I really like this stuff. Um, 
it's got hair all over it. I leave this in the shower actually. And this is the stuff that I use when I'm jumping in the shower to take my makeup off. So I will um, just get in, wet my hair, and then take this. And then like just emulsify all my makeup. And then I could just wipe it all off. And then cleanse my skin in the shower. So I really like this. I have a bit of it left that I transported into a little bottle. But I'm throwing this out because it's broken and stuff. And But this is a really good product. And the brand is really good. I really liked it. I'd give that an 8 out of 10 probably. I have have an oil-free acne pink grapefruit foaming scrub this stuff I used um, in the shower but I use this stuff like on my shoulders and that because I, sometimes I get breakouts there so I mostly use this um, these exfoliators and that in the for my like in the shower for my shoulders and yeah I'll do my face but I really like these ones for that I have an oil-free acne wash redness soothing facial cleanser. This is my holy grail facial cleanser. I love this stuff. Um, I have a little bit left, but it's not coming out. And I just love it. This has um, how much salicylic? 2% salicylic acid, but I have like really bad redness. And I think it's rosacea or eczema or something, but, um, or it could just be dermatitis. I don't know. I still have to go to a dermatologist, but I really like this for bringing down the redness in my face. It helps a lot. Um, I can't get it here in Canada, I can only get it in the States, and I have to get my mom to bring it home for me. And she sometimes has a hard time finding it. So, um, yeah, this stuff is amazing. So if you're looking for something to help you with redness in that, try this one. It is a really gentle cleanser. Um, it's the oil-free acne wash redness soothing facial cleanser from Neutrogena, and it's really good. I have a Sephora Coco Coconut soothing body scrub and this one is a um, sugar scrub I believe and I didn't really like this one it ran out really quick um, I found that it just really didn't do what I wanted it to do so that one is up for me I have a 3d white crest radiant mint toothpaste I've switched to the vibrant or yeah the vibrant 3d but I really like these crest 3d white um, toothpaste. Then I have some makeup in here, but I have a um, bio oil, and it's just got a little bit left. I've had it forever. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I have a lavanella um, deodorant. I really like this one. This I like the formula. But um, this one smells, I don't know, it smells kind of like wet dog, but I did like it. Not that I like wet dog smell, but I did like that thing. The next, the other one I have is the um, Vanilla Summer, and I like that one. I have a um, Escape perfume. I really love this one. This is one of my favorite, favorite perfumes ever. And that one's done. And I have a Hydrocortisone cream here. That's just what I put on my redness sometimes, on my face. I have a Bumble and Bumble hairdresser invisible oil. I love this stuff. This was a sample I got from Sephora. And um, I think I'm going to purchase the full one once I'm done the other one that I have that I got in my glossy box. Because I really, really like this Bumble and Bumble one. I actually might keep this little container so I can fill it back up. So I have an Avon compact here that I'm just not using and I'm getting rid of. And it's super old. And I don't know. I just, I don't grab for this. So I'm either going to get rid of it or pass it on. They're, they're not bad colors, but I don't grab for it. It's the mocha latte one. Maybe I'll get rid of that. Maybe I'll pass that one on. I'm getting rid of this Dream Wonder um, Maybelline in Creamy Natural. Um, foundation this I'm not opening it because it's all cracked and stuff so that's garbage and then I have some mascaras and some lip products in that so oh, I have one more skin product I'm getting well I'm throwing out this um, biotherm age fitness 2 eye cream because I've done it I really like this one a friend of mine um, sent this to me for Christmas and I really liked it but she recently sent me another one that I'm going to do in a video um, 
another video and I like that biotherm line better than this biotherm line but um, I'll talk about that in my other video so um, a NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I really like this one. I'm going to buy the full size, I think. The Avon Plump Pout Lip Gloss in Pink Nectar. I'm just getting rid of it because it's old. The um, Be A Bombshell in Lash Out Mascara. This one here I used a couple times. I got it in a uh, um, ipsy bag. This stuff smells gross. I'm getting rid of it because it's stinky and I think it's bad now. The Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara in pretty sure it's black, brownish black. I didn't really use this one that much and it smells bad so I'm getting rid of it because I'm probably not going to use it. There's other one I like better. The Tarte Gifted. This is a sample. absolutely love this one. This one's just empty so I'm getting rid of it. This is my one of my favorite, favorite, favorite all-time mascaras. I still have to repurchase. A um, Jack Black Lip Balm. This one's all the labels word off. I love just Jack Black Lip Balms. Um, so that one's empty. The Sugar Fresh lip balm. This one is like literally empty. I dug it out. I love this. This was just a sample that I got from Sephora. And then the Tony Moly Bobo lip stuff. I am out of this one and I have repurchased. This is my holy grail lip stuff now. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So yeah. So that's all my trash for um, this time. I don't even how, know how many times I'm going to do these. But that's all my trash that I have this time. And um yeah, there's just random trash, mostly soap and like um, shower products, I think, because that's what people use all the time, right? Anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you like trash videos. Leave me comments below if you have any comments, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, girls!